Welcome to Heart Officers. I'm Zach. I'm Kyle. And we are here at Tsushima Station in Aichi Prefecture in Japan. Uh, this is where I live, Zach. It's a suburban town, maybe half an hour west of Nagoya. It's nice, quiet, you know, not bad to live in, but uh, we are walking to the book off from the station here. Here we are at the book off. I pretty much just come here and look at the PlayStation, the PlayStation section, mostly, to be honest, but... A lot of PS2 games. A lot of PS2 games, yeah. Decent amount. There's some uh, PSP. I got some Xbox down there, it looks like. Vita. DS. R-Types. This is really expensive, I think. I don't know how much it costs for this game in the US, but... It's a collection of R-Type 1 and 2, I believe. Yeah, 1 and 2. Pretty sweet. It'd be cool to have. It is quite nice. Wizardry 7. Nice. This, this one's real hard. Real broken and hard. I think we look at this like a, in every video just about. But We're always tempted by this series. I just, I, we're just not ready to dip our toes in, I think. We also look at this in a previous episode, but it's a Goemon game. It's supposed to be pretty good. I got it. Haven't played it. Said that in the last episode, too. But I have it on 64. Haven't played it. It's good, though. We hear it's good, though. Yep. <laughs> Kowloon's Gate. Look at this in a previous episode, too. But looks pretty sweet. Probably won't be able to tell what's happening, though. It's a too really com complicated game. Uh, Disruptor. This is a great, like, Doom ripoff. Uh, yeah, I had this in the U.S., and it's actually really, really good, like, old-school first-person shooter stuff. Made by Interplay. Yeah. What do we got here? Vagrant Story. Kyle wants Dude, it. Dude, yeah, I really want that game. 203 GM. <laughs> you bought it, right? I might have. Have you? It, the disc is damaged, so I'm like, uh, I, I'm kind of tempted to buy it, but at the same time, it's a little scary. Ooh. You ready for this? Yeah. So this, first and foremost, was 108 yen. I did actually buy this. I haven't played it, but I think it's just like a... I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what it is. It's just a bunch of like dinosaurs and that, bugs and stuff. That long neck dinosaur in the back looked real cool. Yeah. Way of the Samurai. This is a real sweet kind of open world samurai game. It was also released in the U.S. Ooh, mosquito! I bought this, Mr. Mosquito. It's just called Mosquito in Japanese. Cop. Flying around, sucking people's blood. Yeah. That's what I want to do with my life. 232 yen? Hell yeah. yeah. It was a great deal. I was real happy that I found that for that price. Look at the price in this thing. Wow. Yeah. 4,000 yen. 4,000 yen. Which one is that? It's the Mega Man fighting game, I think. Yeah. Looks cool. I mean, never got a US release, so very intriguing, but man, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Get all those Shadows of the Colossus. Get yourself some beef bowl. Dude. Yoshinoya video game. This is a chain of Japanese restaurants that sells really cheap bowls of beef and rice. It's good. They got the best quality beef out of all those kind of restaurants in Japan, but that's 950 yen. It was like 100, I'd get it. I bought this because 108 yen for a pretty good Star Ocean game. I remember when this came out when I was in high school, I thought it looked so cool. Yeah. I never actually played it though. What an idiot. <laughs> Have you played it? No. What an idiot. I do. I have it though. I actually that bought counts. it. I actually bought it. Ooh. Dragon Quest VIII. I found this. This is a pretty good deal for this, but I found it for cheaper at Hard Off like just a couple weeks ago. This video was recorded a very long time ago, by the way. I like the idea of you finding a 232 yen game and holding out like, oh, I bet I can find it for less. And I did. So, you we'll know. Spend more on the train ride to this, the other <laughs> store. <laughs> that uh, I did actually buy this, and then it turns out that you can get it for even cheaper. But, you know. This is the Torneco roguelike. Yeah, and this is another roguelike that's uh, based on Yangus from Dragon Quest VIII. Dude, this yeah. is like a roguelike section? Yeah, I bought, yeah, I guess. No, there's just two games, but. <laughs> Popolo Croix, which is a really sweet RPG series. I bought this because I love Popolo Croix. And there's actually Popo Rogue, which is another, another roguelike game that will be covered eventually. But this is the one on PS2. GameCube. Game Boy Advance. 
This is a really solid book off, actually. Yeah, the book off in Tsushima is not bad. I mean, they've only got like it. This is all in one aisle, by the way. Like it's just like a one aisle with games on both sides, and this is all in that one spot. But it's a pretty good selection. I just am here like once or twice a week, and so I see a lot of the same stuff all the time. But Sonic Advance Three, pretty decent game. I don't know if it's worth a thousand yen, but boxed Game Boy Advance, very cool. Okay, so now we are heading to Hard Off in Tsushima. It's maybe a 15 minute walk. Uh, this is actually just right in front of where the uh, video earlier that was taken right in front of the station was. So yeah, not too bad, totally doable by foot between the two stores. Here we are at Hard Off in the same town. This is like a nice 10 minute bike ride from the book off we were just Looks looking like at. Looks like a garden center. Uh, kinda. Maybe it is. I don't know, man. We'll find out when we go inside. A garden of toys. A garden of stuff. Some stuff that Kyle might know about. I don't know, man. I don't know anything. Some humbuckers and pedals and pickups and music-looking stuff. This hard off has a really even selection of basically everything. Like, it's... For example, like, the Shima Gazelle hard off, our first episode of Halls, had a lot of instruments, but this one has all of it i mean it's pretty like well spread out i love this hard off i'm so glad that like it's a 10 minute bike ride from my house some cool amps yeah man they uh it's not in this one but now they have an orange amp Ooh. and i'm like i don't i mean i would never buy it i couldn't use it but it's still just like oh orange amp yeah drum stuff guitar stuff Guitars. I think they have about, maybe not as much as the Shimon Gazawa, but pretty dang close, I think. Some cool stuff. It's it's impressive. I mean, I'm in here at least once or twice a week just checking stuff out. There's there we the go. Games. That's what we're talking about. Games. Yep. They got a lot of box Super Nintendo and N64. How much was that mother over there? Uh, I didn't know if, I don't know if I actually got to look at that. I'm sorry. How dare you? <laughs> PlayStation 4s in the box? Just some stuff in the backs? And then there's my shoes, those were nice. This is their like, old systems and stuff section. 3,000 yen for a Dreamcast, it's not bad. It's junk, I don't know, I think it had like, I wanna say that that's been there for ages and like, it reads discs but it's just really, really loud. But that's just a Dreamcast. Like, yeah, it sounds like a normal There's nothing broken, Dreamcast. it's just a normal Dreamcast. I should buy it, but at the same time, I don't need any more systems right now. 3DS, Wii, Wii U, Switch, Floor, PS4, PS4. Vita. I mean, this hard off has a. I, the thing about this hard off is they have an okay selection of like good quality stuff. Tail Concerto. I bought this. I don't know if I bought this on this day, but I did go and buy this copy of this eventually because it's a pretty good like action RPG platformer adventure game. That's an okay price for it, but Vita's, get that Super Nintendo USB controller, ooh, Wonder Swan, Game, Game Boy, Boy Color. Color in the box for 4860, Wonder Swan, no colors, or no, it's crystals, colors. What? oh, the top one's color, but not crystal, yeah. yeah, Game Boy Advance, carts, Lucy's, Lucerinos, pick up a couple of Lucy's, here's their old school stuff, uh, case there's a lot of crazy stuff in here they got some neo geo cards for reasonable prices actually altered beast final about two monopoly buy some monopoly that's a good idea super nintendo stuff make me an x yeah for a reasonable price too yeah all of these Whoa, what is that? For, I don't know like what that is. I've Sword I, Maniac? That's been there forever, and I, I need to just look it up and see what it is, but yeah. Check out the hard fact that we'll add later. Yeah, well, we'll put some stuff in there just so you know what that is, but... Salamander? Sweet. That's what, like, 1,600 yen? That's not bad. Yeah, since I'm kind of out in the suburbs where I live, the uh, this hard off is pretty reasonably priced. Like, the Yabe hard off. Same kind of deal. Maybe the next three... It's all about those residential area hard offs. It's true. We've pretty well exhausted our in Tokyo options or like having to spread out to the things. They had Super Metroid for more than I paid for it at Beep. Or you could get that Flintstones rescue of Dino Arahapi for 
four, uh, 14 bazillion yens. Like 140 bucks. Yeah. 14 bazillion yens. That's exactly what that price was. But yeah, this is all the bottom floor, by the way. This is a two-story hard off. Here we are on the way to the top floor. They got tons of pachinko machines, or slot machines, I guess, but so many slot machines records. What's Still, the novelty of having a slot machine in your own house? I don't know. I got a lot of friends who are really, really into that stuff. We need to make a video about it and like have one of my friends explain yeah. why it's fun because I don't know. I don't understand it. It'd be super cool. Here we're in the junk section now, by the way. There's uh, some games. <laughs> Probably some brain training games. Yeah. Intelligence factor off the charts. Actually, not off the charts, but reasonable. Super Famicom. Tons of loose carts. It, you get oh. really oh yes oh, that that looked like a thing Kyle was excited about. You get really really excited though when you see like that many Super Famicom games in boxes and you dig through it. And it's only all the same like Derby Stallion and sports games, but still cool when you see it at first. Get you excited. They got a pretty good PS2 selection too. Those are all like hundred yen pretty much. Oh, oh, I bought this. It's a fishing game. It's the 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 legendary like what was it? Dang it, I missed it. It's Where a is fishing it? game. It's the legendary Black Bash. Black Bash. That's it. Black Bass. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. Golf. Kyle, you can comment the on the Game these. Boy Bucket. Yeah. I mean, you see a lot of good stuff there. You see uh, Mario 2. I tried to. Coins. I tried to go through all. I tried to pick up like every good game in this bin. Like, This is what first got me hooked on Game Boys. Yeah. Because the Machida Game Boy section used to be like this. Recently, it's been pretty big clean. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here, but Kyle gave me a big old list of games he wanted, and I actually did try and find them, but none of them were ones that were in this box. But they do have a lot of standards. If you like just bought a Game Boy, you could come here and pick up a lot of the must-haves. A lot of Nintendo like quality, you know, Zelda, Yoshi, Pokemon, Mario, all Kirby, all that stuff is like less than 500 yen. Of course, Tetris. You can't have a Game Boy without Tetris. I never played Tetris. Kirby Pinball. You've never played Tetris. <laughs> never played Tetris. <laughs> Are you serious? No, that's a lie. I played. <laughs> Tetris today this morning while waiting for my friend at a cafe <laughs> on DS. But what else we got? <clears throat> More Kirby Pinball, a nicer copy than the one before. Yeah. That Ultraman game. Tennis? Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Yellow. Yeah. Do that surf and Pikachu. It's the only reason to play that game. Ah, oh, Ark the Lad for 108 yen. It's a good uh, RPG kind of. Even your JRPGs. Tactics is, you know, if you could speak the Japanese is more good. You could definitely play this game. I tried to play them. Grandia with my wife. And that went really well. We did a link. <laughs> this game is crazy because it's a multiplayer game where you just pick things up and throw them, including other players. <laughs> it's really, really sweet. I did definitely you buy bought. It? Yeah. Nice. It's multiplayer. We got to play this sometime. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely. It was released in the U.S. too, but it's really, really rare and expensive. Oh, there's Colin's Gate again, for, I think less than it was before. Yep. There you go. Third time, folks. Enjoy it. You get to look at this again. <laughs> Sweet. It's basically the game equivalent of Ulysses or Finnegan's Wake. This is one of my favorite RPGs, by the way. It's really, really good, and it's 108. Yeah. Star Ocean's great. It's got that kind of action-ish battle system. I think that's why I thought I might like it more than other JRPGs. If, yeah, it's really, really good. It's just the issue of the language barrier here in Japan. And JRPGs but have so much No text. second, no third <gasps> disc. There's three discs, no third disc. Uh, Looks oh, like that one belongs. Nice. There's another one, 300 yen. All Does right, it cool. have all the discs? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's check it Let's out. Let's check it out. Ooh, yes. One. Good. Disc one. Okay, ready? Suspense is killing me. Disc two, good. <laughs> Space... Space Farmer. Astronoka. It's it's Space Farmer. That's literally Space Farmer. <laughs> it's disc three of is Space Farmer. Tekken 2. Good. Yes. Great fighting game. I played this game a bunch when I first got a PlayStation back in like 1996. I'm Jamerland. Jammer Kyle got this not too long ago. Yeah. For I half think the I, price. I think I bought this this day, actually. It's a fun game. Yeah, it's good. Look to make sure the disc looks alright. It's cool because the contents are made to look like tracks on a music album. I thought that was really sweet. Oh, here we are in the junk section with all the uh, random electronics and stuff. Look at that sweet pink stereo. It's thing. real nifty. Yeah. Oh, it's an iPod <laughs> player. <laughs> we can do that now. I got an iPod that I'll work with. All these old LCD monitors. Computers. Dude, Mac 
Pro. Yeah, the G4 it, Mac Pro. Yeah, I actually had one of those. It was great. I used it as a server. <laughs> and they had the next model of Mac Pro, too. Yep. Very cool. I mean, this, this hard off has so much stuff. If it was the first time we'd ever been here, we would have been losing our minds, but I'm in here so much, and it's like, oh, yep, that's the same, like, 50 DVD players again. <laughs> but it's a great hard off. I mean, and it's like, what, like a 15-minute walk from the station, maybe? Lots of cables and stuff, computer stuff, remote controls for TVs, more monitors and car radios. Need a car radio. That's a place. Oh, look at this thing. What is this thing? I never figured out what this is. Like, it's very confusing. <laughs> Just looks like a Wii Fit speaker. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Like, it's. I. I never did figure that what out. What is that supposed to be? It's got like a thing hanging off it to like some wire. I don't even know. Sweet. Lots of old janks. Uh old projectors. Looks like. That's those real are, nifty. Those are sweet. You could become a cool video artist with these. Do cool uh, video installations. You want to make a video installation in your house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Invite people over. Some like fax machines? Looks like it. Japan loves fax machines. It's true. Ooh. What is that thing? I don't know, but it looks cool. Old cameras. Real didn't, nifty. Didn't you say you had a friend who does old cameras or something like that? I have a friend who's good at fixing cameras. Yeah, because I've got some friends who are like do like taking pictures of idols and stuff, and, and one of them he's really really into old cameras, and he takes some sweet pictures, but it just sounds like a lot of trouble. And film yeah. so, and film is so expensive. Flashes. Basically, my friend once dropped his really nice camera in a river, and Canon told him that it's unfixable, so he figured out how to fix it, and now he's really good at fixing cameras. Yeah, he just like took it apart. Fixed it, put it back together. My hero. More monitors, good. So many monitors, like at all hard offs. Computers. Ooh. Some turntables. This thing is real cool. Look at that <laughs> space boy. <laughs> the only way to listen to music. That's the only way I listen to music. I threw away all my CDs and my phone because it has Spotify on it. Yeah. Game stuff. This is all game video cables and controllers and accessories and stuff I've uh, I've bought a few controllers here like PlayStation 1 I got that totally sweet no analog PlayStation 1 like 1995 6 this controller exactly that I just pulled out of this box yeah bought that you it was like, it was like 100 yen I think yeah we talked in a previous episode but the main thing the easiest thing to check is all the pins on the connector yep which I did not do this day because I didn't know that yet but it worked fine 100 yen and 90% of the time, that gunk you see in there is just water and a toothbrush will make that go away. Mouse? Get a mouse? Didn't buy that, but I could PlayStation have. mouse? Yeah. Actually, this might have been the one I bought because it's cleaner looking. Or that one. I don't remember. Who cares? One of them. One of them. Probably that one. That one, because I just set it up there. Yep, that's... This section of the store is pretty crazy because they usually just have, like, really, really old label printers and typewriters and, like... Somewhere in a second here, you'll see they have like shamisen, or I don't even know it, like koto. I don't remember which instrument it is. It's not a shamisen, but Down yeah, here. this thing. Is that a koto? What is this called? I don't remember. I don't know. But it's, it's like real an crazy. Auto yeah, it's it's. They all sound really really bad and broken, by the way. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> you want to start a band of just people playing those old broken? Yeah. Whatever those are. It's, it's literally just like sounds like when you have a guitar and you take a pencil and you push it on the strings. And it just makes bad noises. <laughs> you ever done that? Best band ever. Yeah, man. It sounds like literally just hitting a guitar with like some sticks and stuff. <laughs> People like it. <laughs> oh, here we are. Now I actually went back downstairs to where the games are and got a detailed look at them. N64, Bomberman. Sorry, I didn't like pull things off the shelf Star here. Because um, there's a lot of stuff. Angel and Kazooie. Going through it would have taken a while. But Hey, you Pikachu. So many Pokemon stadiums, like, no matter where you go in Japan. <laughs> what is this? Perfect Dark? Perfect Dark. That's nice. Cool. So many Bowermans. Custom Robo, I think that was. I don't 
Ooh, Mario Kart 64. Is that a box copy of Goldeneye? Yeah. Yeah. How much was that? Uh, I don't know. It's always like 5,000 yen in Tokyo. Whoa. It's not that much. I know that. They would have had it in the case if it was that much. Maybe because... I don't know how big Goldeneye was here, but I know in the U.S. it was huge when we were Oh, younger. it was something else. <laughs> yeah, Torneco. Torneco's Big Adventure. Oh, Mickey and Donald's Magical Adventure. Some more Goemon. Lots of Goemon. I don't, yeah. Games, whatever. Tactics Ogre. Tetris. That's some, uh, box adventure. Oh, the Super Mario Collection? How much was that? I don't know what oh, that's Twin B? Yeah. Dude, they have some real cool stuff. Yeah, they got really great games. The problem is just that I've... I said this in a previous episode, but I'm not buying cart-only Super NES games anymore. It just... I want to go there with you sometime. We need to go, man. We gotta do I'm it. I'm okay with loose carts. They still play the same, and they still need a home. Yeah, I wish I could feel that way, but if I buy a card, I just end up buying the box copy when I find it later, and it's just extra money that I don't need to spend. Because you're a real collector. Load Runner? Load Runner. What? How much was that? Uh, oh. <laughs> I've never seen this uh, Super Famicom Load Runner. I'll be back in town soon, and I'll check for you. Yeah, there's just so much that it was like, Pulling anything of interest off the shelf would have taken so long. Even so, this was like a two-hour adventure. This hard off. There were like five loose carts so far that I would definitely buy if I was there. Yeah. Blazion, that's a really great shoot em up But it's also really expensive. Toys I've ever yet. Dragon Quest VI. Final Fight Two. Final Fight. Final Fight. It's a lot for that. I paid 500 yen in Tokyo for it. 700 yen for uh, Final Fight 2, though. Puyo Puyo, of course. Puyo Puyo. Everywhere you go, you got Puyo Puyo. Uh, front Mission Gun Hazard. That's a really great, like, shoot em up platformer kind of. Oh, Mother thing. 2. Yeah, Mother 2. 1296. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. Them uh, suburban, rural, hard offs, man. You could play great strategy expert. Or Final Fantasy V. Derby Stallion. Yes. They got the horse. They got the horse. <laughs> Backed by popular demand. Backed by popular demand or Ronis. <laughs> what is Super Power League? I don't know, but I'm just going to say it's probably Resident Evil. I'm going to just get that. Wonder Project. So many loose cards. Yeah, they got a lot of loose cards. And even more upstairs in the junk section that I didn't even look through this day. I thought oh. you said you weren't thorough. You went through like every single game. The I didn't pull anything off the shelf and like take time to get enough footage out that we uh, could talk about it in detail. Oh, Chrono Trigger. Yeah. It's expensive everywhere but Japan, pretty much. Yep. There's Here, some more box adventure. I don't know how much that Chrono Trigger was, but easily under a thousand yen. Uh, less than it would be in the U.S. for sure. But yeah, when I say I wasn't thorough, I just meant that like, ooh, uh, Shida and the Wanderer, really great. Roguelike. Is this the one you bought? It is the one I bought. Solid. This is the copy that I purchased. Great deal. Not a bad price. Uh, yeah, nine hundred yen. Dang man. You had that Mother Two back there and never showed the price. I'm sorry. I'm real sad. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Oh, uh, these are their VHS tapes? I couldn't... Outlaw Star on VHS? Nice. It's a good anime. This set... I don't, it, what is this? Nadia? Uh, Gundam stuff? Like... That's pretty cool. And, they're, and the, look at the... Let me... I can't remember how much this was. We'll find out in just a second here. Here's all the stuff I got at the uh, book off and hard off in the town I live in. We got the... Elusive Black Bass. I kept seeing it in the junk section and I could never pick it up. I'm kind of a sucker for fishing games. And then we got Popolo Croix for PS2. We got Mr. Mosquito. We got that uh, Dragon Quest VIII Yangus um, roguelike. And then below it, I did buy that copy of Disruptor. I forgot I bought this that day because Disruptor is a really good like Doom style, uh, Duke Nukem style first person shooter. I did buy Vagrant Story, turns out. Haha. <laughs> 
and um german lammy and lifescape which we're definitely going to do a video about lifescape absolutely but that dinosaur and stuff mm -hmm. man dinosaurs are sweet and then i did buy that going on aqua aqua king we've mentioned that in a few videos and this is the day i bought it apparently and then that game where you throw stuff and people around a bunch <laughs> and then tell concerto which is a you know good action rpg thing and the playstation controller so pretty intense haul that day but if i remember right it was only like Probably under 3,000 yen. Yeah, it was like three, 4,000 yen, that whole, for all this stuff, which is a really great deal. So thanks, Hard Off and Book Off, for being real cool. Thanks for watching another Hard Officers Halls video. Yes. And join us next time for another beautiful adventure in a game store in Japan. Thank you, Hard Off. Thank you, Hard Off. Please subscribe. I uh, hope you liked what you watched. Yeah. Stick around. Subscribe to the channel for more great stuff like this. Love you. Happy trails. Later.